Brenda pulled into the grocery store. Her dog, Trixie, sat beside her. Outside, the temperature was 82 degrees. Brenda parked in the sun because there was no shade. She left the air conditioner on and Trixie inside the car. 30 minutes later, she returned to find Trixie dead. What happened? Brenda's car is a computer operated model. While the car baked in the sun, the engine overheated. The computer, sensing the overheating, shut down the air conditioning and turned on the heater. Trixie never had a chance. Even in an older car, Trixie would have been in grave danger. In 10 minutes, inside the car, the interior temperature would have rose to 109 degrees Fahrenheit. In 20 minutes, to 120. Trixie died of hyperthermia, heat stroke. In other words, her brain fried. A larger dog might have only suffered brain damage. But I cracked my windows, you might say. Even with windows cracked, cars become doggy bake ovens in the hot sun. Parking in the shade won't help because the shade shifts. Try this experiment on a hot summer day. Drive your car to the mall and park in the sun. And then roll up the windows and turn off the air conditioner. And see if you can sit there for 10 minutes without sweating, finding it difficult to breathe, or panicking. Use an interior thermometer and watch the temperature climb. Now, think of your dog or child. To prove how hot it can get in a car, I tried this experiment. I baked cookies in my car. I did this experiment on July 21st of last year, 2011. To begin with, the outside temperature at 11.30 in the morning was 91 degrees. Inside my car, the temperature was already 130 degrees. I put the cookies on a pan on my dashboard. We'll follow and monitor its progress. Although experts often focus on more common safety measures like using car seats and basic childproofing, there are many less well-known hidden dangers that may put your kids at risk. Your family car is one of those hidden dangers, and not just because of car accidents. In addition to the risk of getting hit or run over by a car, being left or getting trapped in a hot car can be just as deadly. In fact, over 230 children have died after being left in a hot car, sometimes on a relatively mild day with only 70 degree temperatures since 1998. Situations in which kids get hurt in hot cars include when infants and toddlers are simply forgotten in their car seat, toddlers or preschoolers sneak into the car to play and can't get out, when kids get trapped in the trunk, an hour later, 12.30, I checked on the cookies in the car. The outside temperature was now 92 degrees, and the inside temperature of my car had rose to 145 degrees. An hour later, at 1.30, I checked again on the cookies in my car. The outside temperature that day was 94 degrees, and inside my car, it was 149 degrees. Later that day, at 2 o'clock p.m. in the afternoon, Approximately two and a half hours after I had stuck the cookies in my car originally, I went back to check on them. They had finished baking in the car. I had read about this experiment online and wanted to prove it to myself. I must say, the cookies tasted pretty good on my ride home, and the car smelled good too. A nine-month-old died after being left strapped in a child safety seat in a sweltering minivan for two hours. A misunderstanding between the child's parents resulted in the child being left alone in the van. One parent believed the infant was at home with the other. A six-month-old baby died when accidentally left in a hot car for three hours. She died when the outside temperature of 90 degrees rose to 130 degrees inside closed car. Parents thought the other had carried the baby from the car to the crib. A 34-month-old toddler who recently learned how to open a car door apparently climbed into the family station wagon while parent and sibling went in the house. A 23 month old died when a relative who was babysitting the child put the child in a car for a trip to the store, went back in the house having forgotten something and was distracted by something on the television. 
sat on the couch to watch and fell asleep. Woke up two hours later. A two-year-old died after a parent left the child in the car after returning home from an errand. Was left in the car for more than an hour. Remember, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, a locked car sitting in the summer sun quickly turns into an oven and temperatures can climb from 78 degrees to 100 degrees in just three minutes to 125 degrees in six to eight minutes.